The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. God of wonder and of joy, grace comes from you, and you alone are the source of life and love. Without you, we cannot please you. Without your love, our deeds are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, that we may worship you now with thankful hearts and serve you always with willing minds. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we join in singing our first hymn, which is Morning Has Broken. Would you please be seated? In the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together today to witness the marriage of Paul and Sarah, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy, and to celebrate their love. Marriage is a gift of God in creation through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. It is given that as man and woman grow together in love and trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body and mind, as Christ is united with his bride, the church. The gift of marriage brings husband and wife together in the delight and tenderness of sexual union and joyful commitment to the end of their lives. It is given as a foundation of family life in which children are born and nurtured and in which each member of the family, in good times and in bad, may find strength, companionship and comfort and grow to maturity in love. Marriage is a way of life made holy by God and blessed by the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ with those celebrating a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Marriage is a sign of unity and loyalty which all should uphold and honour. It enriches society and strengthens community. No one should enter into it lightly or selfishly, but reverently and responsibly in the sight of Almighty God. Paul and Sarah are now, now to enter this way of life together. They will each give their consent to the other and make solemn vows. And in token of this, they will each give and receive a ring. We pray with them that the Holy Spirit will guide and strengthen them, that they may fulfil God's purposes for the whole of their earthly life together. So first, I'm required to ask anyone present who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. 
So the vows you are about to take are to be made in the presence of God, who is judge of all and knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. Probably should have told me yesterday. (laughs) So, Paul, will you take Sarah to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her? And forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. And will you, Sarah, take Paul to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him? And forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. And will you, the families and friends of Paul and Sarah, support and uphold them now in their marriage and in the years to come? Yes. Yes. That's why they're here. (laughs) Excellent. So let's pray. God, our Father, from the beginning, you have blessed creation with abundant life. Pour out your blessings upon Paul and Sarah, that they may be joined in mutual love and companionship, in holiness and commitment to each other. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So if you'd like to escort your bride. It's a tricky one, this one. I said mind the dress. Well done. Excellent. And so we come to our reading. On marriage, on Sarah and Paul. Then Almitra spoke again and said, And what of marriage, master? And he answered, saying, You were born together, and together you shall be forevermore. You shall be together when the white white wings of death scatter your days. Aye, you shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be space in your togetherness and let the wind of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but make, but let each other be alone. Even in the strings of the lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping. Only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together. For the pillars of the temple stand apart. And the oak tree and the cypress grow not into each other's shadow. You've made it. (laughs) Who could have said? After all the preparations, the global pandemic, schedule sorting, service sheet decisions, rehearsals, we're here. Today, Paul and Sarah are on the threshold of the closest relationship that can exist between a man and a woman, which is marriage. The gift of God in creation, as we've just heard. The joining of two people together through and with God's love a sign of new, renewed life, which reflects God's love and passion for us all, which reflects God himself, the three in one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Today we celebrate through and with God as two lives become one, as Paul and Sarah's lives intertwine in a new and exciting way. Today is the beginning of a new phase in your lives as you travel alongside one another as husband and wife. And you will feel different after today, I promise you. As Jesus said, a wise man builds his house on solid rock. And even though the rains come and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, 
Just think of all those visa challenges. Even through all the challenges, the house will not collapse because it's built on solid rock. And God is your rock, your foundation. And knowing that your marriage is founded in God's love ensures that it can and will withstand any storms that come because God will be alongside to strengthen and to guide you. So I was wondering what advice I should give while you were celebrating this special day. Well, a man and a woman who'd never met before found themselves assigned to the same sleeping compartment on a transcontinental train. Although initially embarrassed and uneasy about sharing this enclosed space, as they were both tired, they quickly fell asleep. He in the upper bunk, she in the lower. And at two in the morning, the man woke up, leant over his bunk and gently woke up the woman saying, I'm really sorry to bother you, but could you possibly reach into the cupboard under your bunk to get me a second blanket as I'm really quite cold up here? Oh, I have a better idea, she replied. Just for tonight, let's pretend we're married. Wow, that's a great idea, he said excitedly. Good, came the reply. Get your own blanket. <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't. Paul and Sarah, as you start out on this new and exciting path together, remember that God is here with us today and refreshes and sustains us in all situations in fresh and exciting ways. May he bless your marriage richly. Amen. Amen. So, would you all like to stand as we come to the vows? If you'd like to come. Do you need a bit of swishing? Swishing. There we go. That's the technical term. Okay. So, who brings this young lady to be married today? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> bit of salt cause. If you'd like to give me her left hand, there oh, we go. And then, thank you very much. <laughs> I shall hand it over as minister to, there we go. So, you go first. So, I, Paul Thomas. I, Paul Thomas. Take you, Sarah May. Take you, Sarah May. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, till death do us part, according to God's holy law, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God I make this vow, in the presence of God I make this holy vow. I, Sarah May. I, Sarah May. Take you, Paul Thomas. Take you, Paul Thomas. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Try to turn back to the front. <laughs> so could I have the rings, please? Thank you. Perfect. So I'm now going to ask God to bless these rings. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to Paul and Sarah, a symbol of unending love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vow and covenant which they have made this day, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> okay, we're going to turn to one another. Now hold it on. Okay. So Sarah May. 
ceremony. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's all right, we're a bit Pardon. warm. It's, kind of, it's a bit warm in here, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> so you have to turn on and hold it on. Is that one? Yeah, yeah that's right. So, Paul Thomas. Paul Thomas. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to and you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. In the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, bring it on. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, in the presence of God and before you, this congregation, Paul and Sarah have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Yay! Okay. <laughs> right, and I need these hands up. I forgot to rehearse this, but that's right. So I'm going to put that round, and I'm going to say, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. <laughs> So we come to the blessing of the marriage. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, for you have created joy and gladness, pleasure and delight, love, peace and fellowship. Pour out the abundance of your blessing upon Paul and Sarah in their new life together. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, awake and asleep in joy and in sorrow, in life and in death. And finally, in your mercy, bring them to that banquet where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace, that you may please him both in body and in soul, and living together in faith and in love, may receive the blessings of eternal life. Amen. So if you'd like to escort your bride, do please be seated for our reading. Glad you put a step here. <clears throat> now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be a shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be comfort to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness. And may your days be good and long upon the earth. Thank you. So we're now going to make it legal. So if the witnesses would like to come, we need the flowers, the bridal bouquet, and the choir are going to sing for us in the meantime. So thank you.
Okay, so we now come to our next hymn, which is the next hymn. Would you please stand? Got a lot of all hopefulness. My mind's gone because I'm thinking about other things. Chris, I told you I'd do this. Good lordy. Turn myself off. Before I say inappropriate things. Do please be seated as we come to our time of prayer together. Faithful God, holy and eternal, source of life and spring of love, we thank and praise you for bringing Paul and Sarah to this day, and we pray for them. May their marriage be life-giving and lifelong, enriched by your presence and strengthened by your grace. May they bring comfort and confidence to each other in faithfulness and trust. May the hospitality of their home bring refreshment and joy to all around them. May their love overflow to neighbours in need and embrace those in distress. May they discern in your word order and purpose for their lives. And may the power of your Holy Spirit lead them in truth and defend them in adversity. May they nurture their family with devotion, see children grow in body, mind and spirit, and come at last to the end of their lives with hearts content and in joyful anticipation of heaven. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. Amen. So let us join our prayers together with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So would you please stand for our final hymn for all the saints.
May God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.